Do you need email marketing in your online store and is it like an important traffic source for you as a small e-commerce business owner or as a dropshipper, for example? That's a question that I get all the time and I wanna answer it in just a quick video right here. So I'm just filming this here from my phone. I'm just filming it um, spontaneously to answer this quick question. So this will be a short video, but I promise if you're interested in email marketing or if you think about using it or if you're not sure whether it's right for you, this will be very, very helpful. So email marketing, um, is this really a traffic source or is this something that you should do or could you spend your time and money in a better way? Well, here's the thing, guys. So many people ask me about this and when you start with e-commerce, when you start with dropshipping or whatever, normally you don't have a lot of traffic, right? And email marketing is a traffic source or is a like technique that is built upon the traffic that you have, right? So you cannot like um, magically create new traffic from email marketing. You are just taking traffic that you have right now and you're either like signing th these people uh, up to a list or you are like communicating to people that previously have, get it, have gotten in contact with you or something like that. So when people ask me, hey Marco, should I use like Google ads or email marketing? Or should I use Facebook ads with email marketing or something like that, Which what is better? I can tell that when you are starting out, in my opinion at least, email marketing is not that important. Email marketing is not that much of a, of a thing for you because you need existing traffic to make it very, very worthwhile. So here is an example. One of my students has lately been talking to me. We have been running only with Google Shopping Ads so far or with Google Ads Shopping and uh, Search. And it has been running very, very well, but we're still not getting a lot of volume, right? So we are getting profits. We're actually making sales. Everything is fine. But we're not at a volume yet where I, um, you know, where we can do crazy things, right? And this guy was like, okay, Google Shopping Ads are going great. Um, I think I should be doing email marketing now. And he you know, told me that he wanted to create a massive sequence for like 30 days or, or 60 days and you know, have a ton of emails in there and strategies to acquire people's email addresses and all that kind of stuff. And he thought that this was the better thing to do in his situation right now. So what I was saying is, okay, so you are doing Google shopping ads or Google ads in general, and you, or we do it very successfully. And you think that it makes now a lot of sense to also use email as a, another channel, right? And that's, I think, exactly the wrong thing to do, because if you have one traffic source, whether it's Google ads or Facebook ads now, but in my case, it's mostly Google ads that is working very well, but you didn't hit like the peak yet, then you should really focus your effort and your energy and also your money on that one traffic source before you try to get others. Because especially in the beginning, if you think about it, email marketing is not expensive. In fact, oftentimes it's free besides the email provider, the email marketing tool that you use. Um, but it is quite a lot of work if you want to do it great, right? You need a lot of email, um, that, a lot of emails that are pre-written. You need to understand your customers. You need to think about content. You need to optimize it, maybe split test it and all that stuff. But in the beginning, you are doing all of that for just a couple of people. So let's say you have a small online store, maybe an email list of a hundred people or something like that. Those people are, are not worth usually creating a massive email um, sequence with everything uh, on top of it, right? So with layers and with uh, dynamic uh, insertion and with dynamic links and all that kind of stuff. And especially if something happens, then send out this email, then send, I'll send out email B or something. That is great if you have a lot of leads, if you have a lot of people, if you have a big customer base and you can really get way more money out of that. But if you're starting out, if you just have a few leads and a few in this case may even mean a few hundred because that's not too much. Yes, you might get some extra money from that, but you will not get as much that it will be better than spending you know, more time and more effort and more energy on, in this case, Google Ads, right? Once you are actually doing more sales, once you're actually growing, and Google may hit some sort of plateau at some point where it gets harder to scale to the next level. Of course, it's harder to scale from $1,000 a day in uh, ad spend than, uh, to 2,000 than it is f scaling from $10 to 20. So in the beginning, you're better off scaling these paid advertising methods and then you can like focus on email marketing when you have more leads, etc. later on, so that it actually becomes way, way more worthwhile. So that's, I think, a very important point about email marketing. Another point is, of course, that with many dropshippers, 
your email lists are not that super powerful. So people normally don't buy from you again if they have bought from you and your you know um, delivery times has been have been super slow, etc. So email lists tend to be less powerful and less valuable for dropshippers uh, in general. But of course, this is, you know, no matter what kind of business you run. I hope that um, you got this now, what my opinion is on the topic. So just one more time, sorry for the repetition, but just one more time, when you're starting out and you're working with a paid traffic source, try to scale it as far as you can, of course, as long as it's working for you, as long as it's profitable or so. Um, and then when you have a lot of people, when you have a few hundred uh, visitors a day or let's say 500 visitors a day or something, or when you at least get some sort of signups every single day, then you know, sit down, work on a sequence. Maybe it's just a small sequence, but at least it's something to start with. You may also want to like hire someone to do it for you if you have the, the money to do so, if you can spend your time uh, better elsewhere. But then it's the right time to start with email marketing and building a sequence, etc., and not when you're starting out already trying to scale a paid traffic source. So I hope this was valuable. I hope this was helpful for you. Just my opinion on email marketing when you're starting out. Yes, it's always powerful, but there are times where it's much, much more powerful. So. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like below and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more e-commerce, Google ads, marketing, dropshipping content. And until then, I'm really looking forward to see you in the next video and bye-bye.